Good afternoon and welcome back fellow auto repair DIY enthusiasts. I'm back again with a small tutorial on my daughter's 2007 Honda CRV vehicle and this is going to be on the TPMS system which is tire pressure monitoring system not TPS which is throttle position sensor and that's engine related. But this is the TPMS it seems that a couple of weeks after I purchased this vehicle, the indicator light on the dashboard came on saying TPMS. Always my luck. Buy a used car, you have a, a, some kind of a problem a few weeks later. But this is not a major problem. There's also an indicator on there that indicates low tire pressure. Now again, this one said TPMS. Low tire pressure is something I had on my Highlander and I wasn't thinking and thought it was the same issue on this particular vehicle. So what happened is the TPMS light came on. I started looking for a way to cancel it out or reset it, but you can't do that on this vehicle. It has to be done at a tire place or your mechanic because it's done with a wireless scanner. But then I said, okay, well obviously that's the symptom, what's the problem? So I started checking the air pressure in all of my tires. Well, the four on the ground were correct, but the one in the trunk, which is a full-size spare, was 40 pounds too low. It's one of those spares that requires 60 PSI, and it was down to 20. And I thought, okay, cold snap, here we go, pump it up, and no issue. Well, I pumped it up to 60, put it back in there, and it did not rectify the situation. Now, of course, you know, the dealerships, hey, you know, this is a used car, it's fine. We do a 128-point check on this vehicle. Obviously, somebody only did 127 because they did not check the tire pressure on this particular spare. It was off by 40 pounds. So, back to the story. Now, um, I said, okay, if it's not that, then I had to start thinking. Now, I do a lot of my business down at Discount Tire, and there have been many times I've had my tires rotated and balanced down there, and I've actually seen what the TPMS unit looks like. It is inside the tire, and what it has is a non-replaceable watch battery, about the size of a quarter. I've also seen on the display, they might last you seven to 10 years. What it does is it sends an actual wireless signal to your electronic control unit monitoring the tire pressure. Well, again, there's two indicators. There's the low tire pressure, which this was not, and the TPMS. So what it was telling me was there was something not working correctly with the TPMS unit. Now, my mistake was I should have grabbed my old one and I could have added it to this particular video. So what I'll probably do is pull a picture off Google Images. But it fits inside the tire and you have to have a wireless scanner to figure out what's going on. So I took it down to discount tire and what we discovered was that the driver's side rear tire had a bad unit. In other words, the battery was dead. Once again, depending on driving conditions, etc., etc., the batteries last seven to ten years. Okay, this is a 2007. This is now you know, uh, November of 2016. So, yeah, it uh, lived a pretty good life. Now, you say, was it very expensive to replace? Well, in my book, no. They replaced the entire unit as a whole. Again, that's not a replaceable type battery. And, you know, the DIYer is probably not going to do this because you have to take your tire off, you have to remove the tire, put this new unit in, and you have to have the wireless scanner to reset everything. So, for $64.50, we replaced that unit. What about the other three? Well, I'm just going to see how it goes. They may last another two years. So replace that. But then I had a, a small uh, issue as soon as I got in the car once they had done that. And that is the low tire pressure indicator came on. So I went back in the guy said, hey, we just reset the TPMS. What happened? He says, oh, during the reset, that low air pressure indicator comes on, you have to drive it, say, five to ten minutes, and it relearns. Well, it only took about two minutes for this thing to relearn, and it goes out. So again, you, it's not something that you can reset yourself. It has to be a mechanic, or it has to be somebody that does tires. In my case, it was discount tire. Now, how do you know if you have the TPMS unit? Well, the trick is you've got to look and see if you have metal valve stems. Now, give me a second. I'm going to get up close to the car. I'm going to take this off my uh, tripod here, and I'll, I'm going to cut the camera off so it doesn't look so wobbly. 
Yeah, it may be a little dirty. I'm going to zoom in on it if I can. But as you can see, that is a metal valve stem. The spare tire had a rubber one. That's why nothing would correct itself and the fact that it was TPMS, not low air pressure. Now let me see if I can get out of the way. Maybe get a little bit of sunshine on there. There we go, that looks a little better. All right, so back to the tripod. Back to the narration. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's review. I had the TPMS indicator come on during a cold snap. Tire pressure monitoring system, not TPS, throttle position sensor. The TPMS is different than the low air pressure symbol. Again, all of these units are built and in the tire itself. Now, uh, like I said, I'll probably grab a picture and put that on here so that you can see it. And most of the newer cars do have this. It does send wireless signals to your electronic control unit to let you know whether or not your tires within spec as far as the air pressure is concerned. In this case, the TPMS symbol or actual letters on the dashboard were telling me that my battery was either low or dead and the discount tire guy scanned all four and found that it was the driver's side rear. It cost me $64.50 to have it replaced. It is a non-replaceable battery. So, um, oh, I want to put a shout out to uh, the folks that have uh, subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I have a small following now. And another shout out to Honda-Man at JustAnswer.com who is very good at answering my questions. Let's see. Oh, and the, I've got a new camera. So hopefully I've got some better resolution here. I'll probably post this next couple of days. And we'll see how it flies. Remember my credo. I'll fix your car, but it won't go far.